today I want to show you my full training session uh, instead of just breaking breaking it into small pieces like I usually do when I explain the exercises. Hey, don't push me. Um, today you're just gonna guys see how we train and uh, our full session. Um, so equipment that I use for my full training sessions usually the choke chain for saver. A short tab if I need it. I usually train without the leash, but I always have it on me in case I need it. I have eight hey, enough. Enough. Good boy. I have um, two training balls. Those are the only ones that I use in training. I should say my dog only gets them in training, so I don't ever let him play with the training toys. And I have the reward toy at the end when we're done training. This is our walking toy. Whenever we go hiking, we play with this. So for him, kind of a reward. I have my crop, a riding crop. That's for healing exercise in case he's crooked. And I also have my um, poles for the recall command if I need them. I sometimes use them, sometimes not. Um, so. Uh, usually what I do, how I build the sequence of the exercises is that I usually start with the lower drive exercises and then as we progress the exercises are getting higher drive and higher drive. So you will see we start with healing and we usually end up with like crazy play and everything. One other thing is that when I uh, train with my dog I never throw the ball far away or uh, kind of um, increase the drive. During the training, I give him the reward, but I take it back very fairly quickly and I don't throw the ball too far because I don't want the dog to get tired. And so, uh, it's gonna be fun because we are in the public park, there's gonna be a lot of other dogs, so you'll see we are working under a lot of destruction. Okay, let's start. Um, I'm gonna leave this here. We're gonna start with healing. Um, this is an extra. Okay, pay attention. Uh, I, I usually have a setup command for the dog so he knows that this is not a game, this is not tracking, this is not protection. My key here is are you ready? And so I always uh, give the dog this key clue so he knows what we're going to do, that it's uh, obedience. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Sit. Very good, sit. Very good. two dogs passing us he didn't look I corrected him he tried but uh, he's doing pretty good Aye. good point good point sit good sit good point good
no. Pues no. So I had to correct him because the dog is just passing so close to us hey, and he's still looking <clears throat> and uh, there was a good practice for him for the distraction and I wanted to be very firm with him telling him that that's not acceptable so that's the reason I corrected him and then eventually I connected the tap again to correct him with the leash but um, that's actually very helpful to uh, train in the public parks because uh, that's what we learn. We learn to work under distractions. Good boy. Okay, moving on. Good boy, you did well. Yes, you did well. You did well. Very good. Try again. Sit. Very good. Look. Push. Half down, so he won't learn a bad habit. I flat. Yes. Good boy. I come. Sit. Very good. Yes. Good boy. I sit. Yes. Good boy. Give it to me. I flat. Sit. Yes, very good.
he doesn't really like the uh, sticks that I use for some reason um, but I interchange sometimes he does better without them sometimes uh, he really needs them because he's very crooked wait stay Crooked, come. No, you crooked. No, not acceptable. No, come. Good, better. Good. No, come. Good. No, good. That's good. Stay. Good boy. No. Hi. Hi. Hey, pay He's a handful, huh? Yes, he is. Come on. Stay. Come. Sit. Yes. Let's try that. He sits a bit too far from me with the sticks. Let's, let's see if uh, he'll be a lot closer to me without them. Come. Come. Good. That's good. Good boy. Stay. Come. Good. Very good. Yes. Very good. He did better this time without the sticks. He was uh, much closer and much straighter than he usually is. I think he's just afraid to hit the poles with his knees. Um, so maybe, because I noticed that in a couple of sessions already. So I might st still bring the sticks, but I will start using them a little bit less. And then I'll have to figure out how to teach him to understand when he's crooked, when he's correct. I'll have to come up with something else. Okay, good boy. Let's try again. Come. Good. Let's. Stay. No, I didn't call you. No. Let's stay. So uh, now with this exercise, I sometimes pause and come back because I need to set him up to, to another command, which is long down. So he needs to have patience. Stay. Good stay, yes. So sometimes I do that, but I'll have a different, uh, a separate lesson um, recording for specifically for a long down how we do that. Okay, let's stay.
boy. Lots of distractions. Now a bicyclist uh, was riding by and he just rang the bell to distract him. He did pretty good right after the command, so I'm pretty happy how he's uh, tolerating the distractions. Very good. Very good boy. Very good boy. What else do we have? What else do we have? Come. Let's see. Look. Look. Yes. Good boy. Did it pretty well without seeing the toy. Come on. Come on. Come on. So that's about it. Um, I usually uh, do fusing, the healing with him. Hey, come over here. Um, on a much longer distances. I just was not sure how far you guys can see through the camera. So I kind of did much shorter. But more or less, that's the session. At the end of the session, I switch the toys. I tell him we're finished. Finish. Finish. And now he can have the fun and then we'll play now. Good boy. Happy training. <laughs>